Uh, I have a mushroom that I want to show you. It has kind of always captivated me since childhood. You've probably seen this mushroom once or twice in your life, maybe more often than that. And if you haven't been formally introduced, I hope that this video will formally introduce you. Let me turn the camera around and I will show you the features. This is Copronopsis, the genus. As a kid, one thing that always seemed to captivate me about this particular mushroom is how it just seemed so otherworldly or ghostly, as though it was an apparition of a mushroom or a hologram of a mushroom, the adult specimens or the mature specimens. The Corpronopsis species is generally easy to recognize by how thin and papery the flesh is. This mushroom is called the hare's foot ink cap. Now the adult specimen doesn't really resemble a hare's foot at all. But the pinning mushrooms just emerging or pushing out from the humus do. They look furry and they resemble a hare's foot when they're first sticking up. The morphology of this mushroom can be seen pretty easily. Normally you spot the adults first, the delicate questing specimens, the real fragile, thin flesh. And then as you look around, you'll see each of the stages from the pinning mushrooms to beginning to open. The hare's foot ink cap. The flesh is really, really thin, almost air-like. It, it feels like there's nothing here. The stalks are hollow and as thin as onion paper. It's not a poisonous mushroom, but it isn't considered an edible mushroom because really when you pick one up and you handle it, you know right away there's just nothing there to cook. Still, it's an astounding mushroom. And it's one that I see people frequently ask, what's this? Growing in their mulch beds, in and around their home or in county parks, they see it and wonder what it is. The hare's foot ink cap. Corpronopsis genus. I'll leave details in the plates at the end of the video. Safe and happy foraging, guys.